Hi, I'm John and welcome to another product spotlight. Today we have some models from Otter Valley. So let's head over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. These are HO scale NSC 6400 cubic foot scrap and trash gondolas. These come from Otter Valley Railroad. There are far too many variations on these cars for me to give you an exact number of what's available on the website. What I will tell you is that they go for $64.99 Canadian, which depending on the day is probably around 50 bucks US. You'll have to check that out for yourself. Something else I'll mention is that on their website, they have singles available or six packs of these cars. And each model also comes with additional end caps for the trucks. I'm just going to say, go to ovrtrains.com and see if they have what you're looking for. You won't be disappointed by their selection. All right, so since we have three of these to look at, we're just going to do them one at a time. My idea here is to show you one in some detail, and then we'll sort of skim over the others, and I'll point out if there's anything that I notice that's different. The paint and markings on all three of these cars is perfect. And I'm noticing a few things on here that are pretty cool. For example, these vertical, I don't know what these are, I guess stanchions of some sort. They're tapered, some of them. See how these are like almost triangular? And then others aren't, like this. And it looks like it's like that on all three of them. Something else I'm noticing is that there are separately applied end ladders on each side of this. And there's little stenciling on the trucks, which is a really cool touch. And there's a whole bunch of detail that's visible from the side. And we'll take a close look at that under the car as we go. Uh, this is a really detailed model and you can tell that straight out of the box looking at the brake end of this car you can see some pretty astounding detail and what i'm talking about is you see where these little hollowed out parts are there i'm not sure how they did this but there are separately applied little grabs inside these little hollowed out parts that looks really amazing and they're all real straight too this grab that goes across for the crossover is also separately applied. Of course, the brake wheel and associated detail is separately applied. That's an etched metal walkway. There's also an uncoupling lever and air hose detail. How cool is that? So we'll go around the entire car like we usually do on these spotlights. And you'll notice on this side that there's a lot of different detail that's visible from the side underneath the car there and you know like i said we'll look at this in a little bit more detail when i turn the car over but i wanted to point that out because depending which side you're looking at you're going to get a different view and a quick look at the an reveals similar detail to what we saw on the b end so you can see there's not really a whole lot to look at inside the car but i will take this opportunity to mention that ovrtrains.com has loads available that you can purchase separately. You can find the scrap loads on the OVR Trains website and they sell them for $23.99 Canadian for a pack of two. Each piece is hand molded and hand painted, so they're all unique. That's really cool. I mean, especially when you think about 23 bucks Canadian is probably about 18 or 19 US for a Custom, hand-painted, hand-molded load. Not bad. This is what I've really been wanting to show you. Look at all that detail. And as I was pointing out before, what you can see when you're looking at it from this side of the track is different than what you see when you're looking at it from this side of the track. And something else I'll mention while we're looking at it is that 
These are metal wheels. They're body mounted knuckle couplers. And look at the extra detail here. This air hose is attached to all this other brake piping and it's attached on both ends. That's really cool. There's a lot to look at here. So I'm just going to leave it on the screen for a second before I send it over to the next one. But uh, boy, this is really cool. Like the one we were just looking at, you can see all the amazing brake rigging, separately applied details. You can see the metal wheels and I believe these are 100 ton trucks. But I'm going to point out over here that the uncoupling levers on this car are a different color, which is pretty cool. So we're kind of looking at the A end and the side at the same time here. And you can tell it has the same kind of details, including the photo etched crossover platform, independently applied or separately applied grab that goes across those little tiny ladder grabs inside this recessed part on the ends uncoupling lever air hose it's all there and same detail on the brake end that we saw on the oak ridge model independently applied brake wheel etched crossover etc and another thing that i'm finding really cool on this model is that they've painted this handle on the uncoupling lever white while the rest of it's blue. That's pretty cool. All right, and finally, we'll take a look at the other side of the car. Something I should mention, and they did mention this specifically on the website, is that the era for these cars is post 2000. And a spotting feature that might make that obvious to you are the conspicuity stripes on the sides. That's something that was added later on. I believe those came into existence in the 90s. And finally, we'll look at the third one. This one is painted for WINX reporting marks, number 00029. And you'll notice that this one has blue end caps. That's pretty cool. Again, there's something different on each of these. And I'm going to show you that these are actually rotating end caps. That's probably why they included the extras in the package. Looking at the brake end, you can see that it has the separately applied end ladders on the sides and that same kind of recessed grab irons detail. You can see that's a photo etched crossover. And this cut lever is also painted blue with a white handle. And here's a very brief look at the other side. You can see the stencils on the trucks as well as the blue end caps. And finally, the underbody detail. Once again, super detailed, tons of separately applied, very complete brake rigging that attaches to the brake hoses on the ends of the cars. Uh, just an amazing job. Otter Valley has done an absolutely amazing job. I'm especially impressed with all that brake detail and the fact that it had the cut levers and air hoses. That's detail that you don't always get in HO scale from everybody. So Otter Valley, if you're looking to compete with the big guys, congratulations. I think you're doing it. And just, I can't say enough. I can't wait to see the next models you're going to be putting out. Great job. I'll see you next time.